Hello, hello my friends. How are you tonight? So happy to be here with you. It's Hungry Mama Me. Gotta get myself situated cause I just sat down. All right, all right, all right. Let's get this party started. Let's get this party jumping. Yeah. I'm hungry. I'm always hungry by the time I see you guys. Yes. I guess it's a good thing. So. See what we got here, my friends. I think we need to put this right here. My friend Tapatio did not come and join me tonight, nor did Tina, because you know who Tina is, aka Valentina, yeah, because what I am eating tonight is kimchi fried rice. Yes, it is. Looks real good, right? It does to me. So whenever I have this, it's definitely spicy enough. You know, because when I'm making my kimchi, I'm spicing it to my liking. So, yeah. What I have in here is... I sure hope this is enough light. I don't know, guys. I told you my light broke and I went out today and I got a another light and <laughs> I almost burnt down the house with it and it like psh, started sparking and uh, that's not working I don't know what the problem is too big maybe I don't know Anyway, we're going to have to try to figure this out. I was going to get one of the, the ring lights from Amazon. But my goodness, they're, you know, $90. I'm not ready for that right yet. So, you know, traveling, realistically, this is really good. I am not going to use one of those um, ring lights. They would definitely take too much too much electricity when you're in a whatever I'm traveling in. And a lot of things are done outside when you're traveling. That's the whole point. You know what I mean? You're not gonna be inside your van. Not much anyway. You're gonna have the beautiful daylight to give you the sun. So I just don't want to invest in that. So trying to figure out something else. We'll see what I can do. Yum. You know, if push comes to shove and I have to get it, then I have to get it. So what I have here is I have my kimchi that I made quite a while ago, the kimchi, and the really the older it is, the better it is for cooking and stuff with. 
it's much stronger. And then I made up some rice, basmati rice. And I took a, a slice of chia. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's the creamy um, chia cheese. And they come like uh, in individual slices. It's delicious. Uh, delicious. I made a grill, grilled cheese out of it yesterday. Really, really good. They're made by Field Roast. Um, it's called Chia. Chia seed. Uh, not Chia. Chow. Chow. Chow cheese. If you haven't tried it yet, please do so. It's really, really nice. The only thing is, you know... I was thinking it's a little expensive, but I'm not sure about that. When I was in my organic store, I said, geez, I usually get it on sale. And it wasn't on sale. And I real, really wanted it. So I said, If you go into the store and you buy some American cheese or you buy some provolone or mozzarella, whatever it is, you know, you're easily going to pay $7.50 a pound for a lot of that if it's decent cheese. So, and more. So I think this was like a half a pound, eight ounces. So it's worth it to me. I, you know, how, how fast am I gonna eat a half a pound of like American cheese? It's gonna take me a long time. Well, same with this. So sometimes when we look at it that way, you know, that it's going to last you quite a while, it's worth it. No. I've been staying away from the oils a little lately. Every now and then, you know, if I feel like having something with where I need to add a little olive oil or whatever, I will. But normally, the best way to cook this is with some extra virgin olive oil and some butter, both. And you fry up the sushi. And then you add, I like my rice browned, you know, a little bit fried. And then you add your rice and I keep the fire on until, and you don't touch it. The whole trick is not touching it to brown it. You give it about five minutes on each side. Always remember to pour some kimchi juice into your rice, you know, so you have some liquid. It's not really dry. And I like it with cheese. I always add cheese to this kimchi fried rice. 
It is really, really good, guys. Yum. If you don't make kimchi at home, you can get a bottle of kimchi. Almost anywhere's now. And you can make this. Give it a try. It is delicious. I've been wanting to have some black bean noodles. I love them. Love, love, love it. But... I actually forget the Korean name for that. It's with the black bean paste. But you really do have to use a lot of olive oil. That's something that you eat as a I don't want to say special treat. But when you're not worrying so much about your intake, you know? Yummy, yummy, yummy. I just got a lot of cheese with that and that was so, so good. The cheese is very creamy. So hey guys, was anybody in an area for that solar eclipse where you could see it? And if you couldn't see it, at least where it got dark where you were? I actually thought it was going to get dark here, that's how much I knew about it. But it didn't. I think they said Maine missed it completely. That was the only state. But wasn't it an airy day yesterday? Didn't it feel creepy? Ours didn't totally, well, it started at 1.23 in the afternoon. That's in New Jersey, and it was uh, um, at its peak at 2.46. But I went out yesterday at... around 12 o'clock and I got in with two minutes to spare of the um, the 123 because I didn't want the kids to be out in it and I was driving them but even at 12 o'clock and that was in the afternoon there was something different about the air, about 
just the atmosphere around you and then I went outside since we were tied in all day after I did my mukbang last night with the baby He has a little riding car. And I said, let's get out a little bit, you know? So I took him out in his little riding car. And we went around the neighborhood. We walked for about maybe 35 40 minutes and it was beautiful there was a gray haze the 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 I don't know how to explain it the, not even an overcast but it was just like hazy a little bit like grayish not the sky just in general and it was cool it was beautiful the wind was blowing a little bit There was not a drop of humidity. Coincidence? Maybe. But beautiful. Now today, we were at a hundred percent humidity the heat was with the heat factor over a hundred so what a difference a day can make right But they say it's supposed to get nice again. We definitely had a hot summer. Um, rain and heat. Unusual for New Jersey. But from what I understand, the whole, whole United States was off. This summer was strange. Global warming? Who knows? I told you before about that. A lot of people don't believe in it. But we're seeing changes. What is it then? I don't know. I tell you, my friends, if you've not tried kimchi rice, make sure you do so. You can do this also with noodles. Instead of rice, don't forget the um, cheese. Just makes it so creamy, so nice. Yum. Now that was delicious.
Man, it definitely was. All right, my friends. This mukbang is officially over. We're done eating, so we're going to close down for now. And I'll see you tomorrow. But thank you for blip, 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 if I could talk tonight. Thank you very much for coming and visiting me in my home and having dinner with me. And thank you for allowing me into your home to have dinner with you. Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Also, like comment and share it really helps helps guys i'm trying to build my page up or my my channel i've been trying and hopefully i mean i'm doing pretty good really i mean i got i don't know um, near 850 near so that's good i mean for a mukbang i mean i don't you know, a lot of people watch some of the mukbangers and they talk about sex. They talk about, I'm not going to do any of that. You guys know that. I'm just talking life and just everyday things, you know. So I do appreciate you being here. Believe me. And <clears throat> don't forget to hit that bell right there give that bell a little ring-a-ding-ding -ding, and you'll become a part of our notification family make sure you do that we would love to have you over here in that description box right down there you see it right below is my instagram my twitter and my p.o box write me a line my friends i'd love to hear you Thank you.